from our little story club. Today we have a new story called Little Lou and the Woolly Mammoth and it's written by Paula Bowles. I hope you enjoy the story and have fun stretching along with me. Are you ready? All right. Little Lou and the Woolly Mammoth. Little Lou sat on the floor surrounded by an enormous muddle of toys. She was bored and wanted a friend to play with. Suddenly, something colorful wriggled past her and disappeared in the muddle. So Little Lou dug down amongst Ollie Owl, Sock Monster and Stripey Whale and found the loose end of a long woolly thread. Now before we go ahead, we're all going to become Little Lou. I want you to sit on the floor, stretch your legs out. So Little Lou finds a thread wriggling past her. I want you to stretch your hands, put your hands together, stretch them in front of you and we're going to wriggle it like a thread. Now when this goes wriggling, try to bend your body in front. Very good. Now once she saw the thread wriggle past her, she digs under all her toys. So I want you to turn to one side. First she digs out Ollie Owl, bring it to the center. Turn to the other side, keep your back straight and then she digs out the sock monster. Then she turns to the other side and she digs out stripey whale, bring it to the center and finally she digs out the long loose thread. Where does this long loose thread come from? Let's find out. Being a curious kind of girl, Little Lou decided to give it a tug. Now to give it a tug, I want you to go down, stretch your legs out, keep your hands in front of you and you're going to bend halfway back. All right, so let's tug, stay there and go back up. Let's do that again. Tug, you go halfway down and go back up. Very good. Now after tugging on the loose end, what happens? But the thread wriggled away. So she followed it instead. Now we are going to follow the thread and you are going to follow my moves. It wound around and around. So I want you to go around one way and go around the other way. It went up, stretch all the way up and it went down. That's right. And it twisted and tangled in lots of knots. So I want you to stretch your legs out, twist to one side, twist to the other side. It keeps twisting. Let's twist to one side, twist to the other side and then it got tangled into many knots. So you're going to cross your legs and cross your hands into a tangle. Very good. That's right. So now that it's in a lot of knots, what happens? Little Lou followed the thread overhead and around the bed until finally it ended in a monstrous tangled mess. But what could it be? Let's find out. She gave it a tug and another and another. You know how to do your tug. Let's do it. Let's go down. Stretch your legs out. Hands in front of you. Tug. You go halfway back and come in the front. Let's go back again, halfway, and come back up. All right, so she keeps tugging it. And then she heard a snort. And she felt a shake. And then a shudder. The big woolly tangle slowly stretched. And little Lou saw. I want you to stretch your legs out. What did little Lou see? She saw a huge pair of ears. Let's see your big ears. Two blinking eyes. Look through your eyes. And one long trunk. Put your hands one on top of the other. And a long trunk. That's right. What is this? It was an enormous woolly mammoth. I want you to stand up, stretch your legs, spread your legs out, hands up. It was an enormous woolly mammoth, the size of a bus and weighing a ton. Little Lou thought it best to just run. I want you to start running. Let's 
jog on the spot. Little Lou ran and ran and ran. Where did she go to? Let's see. She dashed this way and that way and all over the place. And the woolly mammoth chased her in a zigzagging race. Stomp, stomp, stompity stomp went his footsteps behind her. Let's become the big mammoth. I want you to get your legs apart again. Hold your ankles and try to stomp and walk. All right, let's go. Stomp, stomp, stompity stomp went his footsteps. His feet were big enough to squish her. His trunk almost long enough to catch her. But as they zigged and as they zagged, the woolly mammoth got snagged. Stomp, stomp, stompity stomp. And he began to come undone. So now, what do you think? He started to shrink and he got smaller. So let's do a big stomp, stomp, stompity stomp. But then he got smaller. Let's get your legs closer together. Stomp, 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 stomp. And he got smaller. Let's bend our knees and get smaller until he went pitter, pat, patter. Oh, the poor woolly mammoth. And he was tiny and cute and cuddly. Oh. But as little Lou squealed with delight, ee, the tiny woolly mammoth ran away in fright. Wait, come back, called little Lou. And they zigged and they zagged until they could zigzag no more. And the poor woolly mammoth trembled and shook as little Lou bent down and picked him up from the floor and gave him a great big snuggle. Let's all give the little mammoth a great big snuggle. Why? They were both just lonely and in need of a cuddle. How sweet is that? So little Lou and the mammoth each had a new friend and who knows what else they'll find the next time they follow a woolly Lou's end. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that story. I had a lot of fun. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.